Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, we talk about all things kind of homesteading, homemaking, and just the journey to a slower, simpler lifestyle. So I am glad that you are here to join us. When you are watching this, it is officially spring, the spring season, my personal favorite season of the whole year. I just absolutely love spring. I love spring so much because it is just such a hopeful season such a season for you know big plans big ambitions everything in nature is just showing off its big plans with the beginning of flowers starting to sprout trees starting to bud just uh, the vision of what summer could be and i personally very much intertwine myself with the natural world with nature and that kind of cycle of how the seasons go and so spring for me I am just my most ambitious my most excited and I just have so many plans and so much I want to do and it just really brings me happiness so in the spring of course we've all heard of spring cleaning I definitely have some spring cleaning to do usually what I do is every two seasons so now going from winter into spring and then going into summer into fall i reorganize my wardrobe so where i am up in maine which is a four season state it might be different than somebody who is you know down south or something like that but for me each season really does have different attire that you need to wear summers summer clothing it's hot it's you know 70 80 degrees you just need not much for layers spring and fall you definitely need those layers and then winter of course lots of layering gets very very cold and to me it doesn't make any sense at all to have a big sweater in my closet in the middle of the summer nor does it make any sense to have my bathing suits or you know tank top stuff like that in my closet in the winter so for me i always organize it by each season I have clothing that I have for each season and I get it out when it is appropriate. When I do this also, I like to go through it again and just donate anything that no longer fits me quite how I want, is just not my style anymore. For example, I have a very pretty white dress that I'm actually going to keep for, you know, because I do a lot of projects with art and I'm outside in the dirt all the time so I, I mean, am actually going to keep it and use it for that but it's gotten paint stains all over it, it's gotten all kinds of stuff all over it just from you know working with kids with paints and being outside and it's all stained up. So I'll go through anything like that and I will get rid of it because I don't like to hoard things like that. I wouldn't consider myself a minimalist because I do find appreciation for, you know, bringing character into the home and, you know, having things that are just for the simple joy of having them per se, but I do have very minimalistic-like tendencies or mindsets where if it's not bringing me joy or it's not useful anymore, I'm not going to keep something just because I think I might wear it in two years from now for a certain occasion. Or I like to keep things very simple in that way so that I don't have clutter because I don't like clutter at all. <laughs> I probably will have to convince myself to go shopping a little bit this year. I'm not a big shopper at all. It actually, I'm kind of the opposite of a shopper. I don't even like to spend money when I really need to, but I think I will need some pieces of certain pieces of clothing to add to my wardrobe for this upcoming year so I'll have to think about that but at the top of my to-do list is the closet and I think that's a good thing to have on the top of your to-do list as well hopefully my advice can help you in that regard definitely second on my spring cleaning to-do list will be the car I keep my car very clean however I do not share my car with just myself I have my partner. I'm sure many of you have partners and kids that keep your car messy. I don't have the kids yet, but my partner keeps it messy enough. <laughs> so I have a lot of cleaning out to do. I tend to stay up to date 
with getting all the trash out as much as I can but when it's super super cold sometimes that doesn't even get out like I want it to and I definitely have coats and hats and gloves in the car for uh, not emergencies but even just you know in case like I want to go on a walk or something or just need some extra clothes I have them in the car for the winter season so those will have to come out pretty soon and the whole car will get a nice deep clean so that'll be exciting I do a whole vacuum once it gets warm enough so those are the top two things to get done for the spring cleaning. I have other things I like to do as well that I do more often than just for spring cleaning, but not uh, super often. So I want to get the fridge all cleaned out. I'd like to get the shower nice and clean as well. Stuff like that, that you don't clean necessarily every week, but just a once in a while, I like to do that this time. Please let me know if there's anything you like to do for the spring cleaning time or any tips and tricks that could be helpful to me. I always love to hear that. Now also in honor of spring, I do need to show you how my plants are doing. They are already so big. It's only been, let's see, it's only been um, just over a week. And so they are doing so, so well. I will have to start uh, moving them into separate containers because a lot are coming up. And unfortunately, I will have to uh, pluck some out and get rid of them because I won't have enough room. But let's go over and look at those. Just look at that. These over here are all the tomatoes. Look at them all come up. And see right there how big those have gotten? Those are the pumpkins. Like I said, I'll definitely have to do some thinning out of them soon, unfortunately. Hopefully I can spread and, you know, separate quite a few more so that I don't have to thin out a whole bunch because that always makes me sad, even though it's necessary. But that is just one of the few things that just makes spring so near and dear to my heart. Isn't that so awesome that we have those plants that started as a seed just a week ago? and look look at them already and I can't even imagine uh, the summer garden just gets me so excited I also wanted to show you guys the knitting project that I had just finished I'm very proud of it how cute so this is my first sweater that I've ever done and my first color work that I've ever done so I'm very proud of it. Of course it has its flaws. However, I, I'm i really, really happy with how it came out. It's made out of some very nice, um, mostly alpaca. I think it's 60 alpaca, 40 um, wool. So really nice soft yarn. And I just really love how it turned out. I think this would be about a one, one month old size. So, saving that for the future, but I just wanted to share. I'm hoping to get some more knitting projects started, and maybe I'll have time to work on them this spring. Usually around summer, it's the busy time, and so I don't have as much time to knit and stuff. I do at night, and I like to knit um, out in the hammock in the summer, but not as much downtime as you do say in the winter when you don't have as much going on so one last thing i did want to show you for this spring video is my lemon meringue pie recipe it is my own recipe and it is something that i love 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 to make for spring and in for summer as well but for the first day of spring i wanted to celebrate with this pie recipe i'm going to show you cut to yesterday because I actually made it yesterday and I filmed it yesterday but we're gonna cut to that footage and I'm gonna tell you how I make my lemon meringue pie recipe and I hope you will want to try it because it is absolutely delicious I love it so much I will say I am a fan of sour when I have something that's lemon I want it to have that sour lemon flavor I don't want it to be super super overly sweet with just a hint of lemon, I want the sour. So 
if you're somebody who's not as big into sour, you want more just completely sweet, uh, take that into mind when I go into sugar lemon ratio for my personal recipe. I definitely always encourage people to experiment and try different stuff when doing recipes or coming up with your own recipes or just, you know, getting inspired by recipes, all of that. Just experiment, try something. Okay, with that, let's go into the lemon meringue pie recipe. So first, with my pie recipe, we need to make the crust. So that is a stick of salted butter chopped up, a cup of flour, and then I just mix it in like a food processor or even a blender and then add a little bit of water as it's baking. Then I'm going to bake that pie crust by itself in the oven at 350. Next, for the pie itself, for the lemon part of the pie, I am going to use just the egg yolks. So you see here I am putting the whites into a bowl to make the meringue separate and then there is the yolks in the pan. Now I'm going to add a stick of non-salted butter and turn that temperature up. Next a cup of sugar and I also usually like to add honey, I just didn't have any, and a third of a cup of lemon juice. That is a slurry I made with some cornstarch and water and you just add as much as you need until it starts being that thickness that you want it to be. Then you set aside to cool and once it's cooled you can fill your baked pie with that delicious lemon filling. Next for the meringue there is those egg whites and some powdered sugar. a little bit of cream of tartare and you're just going to want to whip it in something as fast as you can. If you don't have a stand mixer like I do, you could use a hand mixer. You just want to basically whip it as fast as you can to be able to get that peak type whip. You want it to be able to stay in a peak for the meringue. Here's that spread and adding the meringue. Then I put it in the oven just for a couple minutes to bake it a little bit and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed our little chat on spring cleaning and I hope you enjoyed the pie recipe. Please try it. It's so, so, so good. I already want to make another one because we ate that one so fast. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.